Hello and welcome to the chapter working with functions. So this is the part 7 of this particular chapter. I hope you have watched the previous parts of this series. If not, you can always check out the links are given in the description. So the today's topic of discussion will be the different types of arguments. I have already discussed with you what are arguments but still let's revise arguments and then we'll go to the different types of arguments. So what is an argument? The values that are passed in function call statement are referred to as arguments. So we have two things, one is function call and other is function definition. So whatever we will pass inside the brackets of function call statements, it is referred to as arguments. And what are parameters? The values that are passed in function header are referred to as parameters. So whatever we will pass in the function definition header, it will be referred to as parameters and whatever we will pass in the function call it is referred to as arguments. So let's take this example. This is the simple example. I have discussed about this in the previous part of this particular chapter. So here which will be an argument and which will be a parameter. See what is the name of the function here? The name of the function is try string. So the parameter, the argument here will be welcome. Why? Because it is the function calling and whatever we pass in function calling it is referred to as the argument. And this is also the name of the function, but this is the function definition. So whatever we have passed in the function definition that is str, it is referred to as the parameter. So this was simple. I discussed it in a previous part also. Now the main topic of discussion of this particular part is about the types of arguments. So let's try to understand what the different types of arguments are. So the first type of argument is positional argument. Then there is a default arguments and finally we have keyword or named arguments. Let's discuss them one by one. We'll begin with positional arguments. So what is positional argument? When the function call statement must match the number and order of arguments as defined in the function definition, the arguments are called positional arguments. So two things you need to remember. In case of positional arguments, the number of parameters, the number of values within the function call should be equivalent to the number of values in the function definition. I'll explain it with the help of an example and the order of the arguments should also be the same. So this is the definition. It will be very much clear when we go to the example. So let's say this is our Python code. I'll explain it in a better way in a board. So, okay. So, this is our code and here we are going to discuss about what? We are going to discuss about positional argument. So, as you can see, this is the function calling this line, the seventh line and this is the function definition. So, here how many arguments do we have? We have two arguments. What are the arguments? X comma Y. So, in the function calling, we have two arguments. In the function definition, how many parameters do we have? We have two parameters. What are those? P and Q. So the number of arguments should be equal to the number of parameters in case of positional arguments. That's the first point. And what is the second point? The second point is that the order should also be the same. Here, this is a simple program to find out the sum of two numbers using functions. We have already discussed it in the first part, in, in the second part itself. So here, x is the first number and y is the second number. So here, x will correspond to what? x will correspond to p and y will correspond to the second number that is q. So the number of arguments is matched. How the number is matched? Because here also we have two arguments and here we have two parameters so the number is matched and x is equivalent to the first number that is p, p and y is equivalent to the second number that is q so the order is also matched. So this is an example of a code with positional arguments. Till now whatever we have done all were concerned with positional arguments only. So this is the code here x comma y it is the positional argument and why it is positional argument because here we have two pair arguments and here we have two parameters both are matching so the number is matching and x corresponds to p and y corresponds to q so here x comma y are positional arguments since the number of arguments in function calling matches the number of arguments in the function definition so both this should 
match so if it is matching then we can say that it is a case of positional arguments and not only number the order should also match here x corresponds to the first number that is p and y corresponds to the second number that is q so the order is also matched so this is all about positional arguments let's go to the next one which is the default arguments so what is a default argument an argument having a default value in the function header is known as default argument okay so default value means a fixed value if an argument has a fixed value in the function header then it is known as a default argument default values are considered if no value is provided for that parameter in the function call statement this is very important so default values will only be used if we do not pass any value for that parameter in the function call statement it will be clear when we go to a code so now let's discuss it with the help of a code so what's the code about so here what we have this is a code to calculate the simple interest so for that we have taken a fun function the name of the function is interest as you can see here so it will receive the principal time and rate of interest here we will discuss two cases in one case we will take only the principal and take the other as the default value and in the second case we will take all uh, from the outside means all we will take dynamically so let's try to run it one by one so here at first which line will come enter the principal so i hope now you are familiar with the output enter the principal so let's say we give the principal as 5000 okay so this 5000 see x x has received the principal so interest x so that 5000 will be carried over to p okay so p is 5000 now see here we have not passed the values for rate and time in the function calling but in the function definition there is a fixed value for rate which is 10 percent and there is a fixed value for time which is two years so r and t will take the default values therefore it is known as default argument so what will be the value of p the value of p will be 5000 r will be 10 and t will be how much t will be nothing but 2 after that it will be calculated and the result will be returned to the variable si after that print simple interest case 1 so whatever is the simple interest simple interest will be displayed after that the rate will be asked till now we have only the principal that that is 5000 after that the rate will be asked which will be taken by the variable y and after that the number of years will be asked which will be taken by the variable z after that let's come to the 12th line here we have x y and z what is the value of x 5000 what is the value of y uh, let's say we take the value of y as 5 what is the number of years it will you have to enter it dynamically you can take any value let's say the number of years we take it as 3 so now what will happen the value of x will be the value of p now whatever we will enter for rate that is y that rate will be replaced by this 10 so remember i have discussed one point that default values will only be taken if we do not pass any value for the default value but here we are passing a value that is 5 as a rate for the default value and therefore this 10 will be replaced by 5 similarly here z is the number of years but here number of years will not be taken as 2 but it will be taken as 3 because we have passed this as in the function calling in the form of z okay and therefore finally the simple interest will be shown here so this will be your output so if i take the principal as 5000 then it will take the default values for rate and time and therefore the simple uh, simple interest will be shown as 1000 obviously the principal is 5000 and then what was the rate the rate was let i have to check the rate the rate is 10 and time is 2 so simple rate is five and time is two so prt by 100 you will get is how much five five is a 25 25 two is a 50 okay i think there is some mistake here so the rate will be 
taken as 10 and time will be taken as 2. So here I have taken the rate as 5, no rate will be taken as 10. So 5 to the 10 and here uh, 10 into 100 it is 1000. So in the first case the simple interest will be shown as 1000 and after that it will take the value of rate as 5 and the number of years as 3. So this time the value of rate will not be taken as 10 but 5 and it will be replaced the original default values will be re replaced why the default values will be replaced because we have passed uh, 5 and 3 as an argument for rate and 3 therefore the default values 10 and 2 respectively will be replaced after that the simple interest will be calculated as how much it will be calculated as 750 let's run and see it so this is the this was our code okay so if i run it let's I'll give the principal as you can give it as any value so let's give it as 5000 so i have given only the principal but it say it has taken out the entire simple interest why because it has taken the default values for rate and time so here it is for the second case let's give the rate as 5 and the time as 3 so now the default values will be replaced and therefore we will get the simple interest as rupees how much we will get the simple interest as 750 i hope default arguments is clear so here this is our code this is our first function calling and the, here the default arguments will be used why because there are three there are three parameters here okay so but here we have passed how many arguments we have passed only one argument therefore the default arguments are used in this particular case but in the second case here the default arguments are not used why the default arguments are not used because we have passed all the three arguments in the function calling itself so remember default arguments will only be used if we do not pass any value for them in the function calling and this is our output now let's go to the final one which is keyword or named arguments so the arguments that allow us to change the order of arguments in the function call are called keyword arguments so till now what we have been doing till now we have not changed the order of the arguments we have taken the original order itself okay but keyword arguments allows you to change the order also order means the position also it will be clear with the help of a code so here we can write any argument in any order okay so let's say we have to calculate simple interest only so at first if there is principal second there is rate and third there is time it does not matter we can change the order also we can give the principal in second also so here we can write any argument in any order provided we name the arguments when calling the function so if we name the arguments then it can be provided in any order there is no problem about that so let's see an example related to the keyword arguments so here so this is our example related to keyword arguments here also our aim is to calculate the simple interest only so here this is the here we have used it three times for showing you different examples here we have passed what rate and principal see at first what was the order principal rate and time but here we have given the rate in the very beginning and then we have given the principal but if you want to change the order remember to use the variable name also you cannot just pass 3 comma 5000 you have to keep r equals to 3 p equals to 5000 okay and then obviously i have not given the time so the default value of time that is 3 will be taken into account and therefore and finally we'll get the simple interest in the second case what we have done we have passed p r and t all the three but we have given it how we have given it in a different order rate we have given it first principal second and time first and this is applicable only remember the thing is that you have to give the variable name and along with the variable name you have to give the value if you want to use the keyword argument so main thing about keyword argument is that it allows you to change the position of the values that we will pass inside the function 
calling in the third case let's see an interesting phenomena here we haven't passed any variable for 5000 so if you do not want to pass the variable name that is p here then what you need to do you need no you should not change the position here i haven't changed the uh, here i haven't mentioned the variable name that is p and hence what i have done i have given it in the first position and then the in python interpreter will not be confused okay so if you do not give the variable name then you should not change the position but here i have interchanged the position of rate and time but since i have interchanged i cannot write it directly as 4 comma 7 what will happen if i write directly if i write directly then 4 will be taken for rate and 7 will be taken for time but it is not the case so if it is not the case then we need to explicitly mention the variable in the function calling itself so this is about keyword argument so hence we'll get this as the output let's run and see this particular program so about keyword arguments so this is the program that i showed in the previous slide so here see i'm getting the interest as 450 600 and 1400 respectively so here what is done here i have interchanged the position for principal and rate and time has been taken as the default value here i have used all the three arguments but here i have interchanged the position all the positions so no default value will be taken here but in the third case what i have done i have not changed the position of the principal so if i do not want to change the position then i should not give the variable name but since i have changed the position for rate and time i have to uh, give the variable names along with the values i hope it is clear so let's go go back to the slide so here three cases of keyword arguments are given one by one and this is our output okay so that's all for today i hope this session was useful thank you very much